Hey, Artichoke, it says you have a nickname in South America, the chicken of the tree. You know, because you taste so good. Look, I, 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 it's just in the book. I don't know. Don't get mad at me. I can't, Maybe humans do taste good, man. Iguanas are one delicious, I, I mean, very cool lizard. And there are over 35 different species of them. Though their appearances are quite different, they can all be identified by two main features. Their spiny backs and tails and their saggy, wrinkly, old person skin. You're beautiful. The best known species of iguana is the green iguana. These guys are native to Central and South America, but they can be found all over the world due to their popularity as pets. And here are some other species of iguana. The red iguana, the blue iguana, the orange iguana, and the black iguana. Just kidding. These are all green iguanas as well. The scientists who named them just wanted to mess with us. Green iguanas of all colors can grow up to five feet in length and they can use their long whip-like tails to strike their enemies. And they can even break their tails off in dire situations. Though this is a last resort because it will take months, even years for them to grow their tails back. Green iguanas can use their incredibly sharp claws to fight predators, but mostly they use them for climbing. That's because green iguanas are arboreal, which means that they live in the trees. Not all iguanas use those sharp claws in the same way, however. Desert iguanas live in dry, open landscapes without tall trees, so they use their claws for burrowing underground. Or if they're feeling lazy, they just steal the burrows of foxes and tortoises. Living in a hot environment, iguanas have to worry about temperature regulation. That's where that saggy old person skin comes in. The skin under the chin is called a dewlap, and it's a feature found in most iguanas. Dewlaps are used for intimidation and for impressing ladies, but its main function is thermal regulation. The thin skin and large surface area allows iguanas to absorb and release heat much more efficiently. Remember, iguanas, just like all lizards, are cold-blooded, so the temperature of their environment greatly affects the internal temperature of their body. While you're observing multiple iguanas of the same species, you might realize that some have bigger dewlaps than others. That's because male iguanas and female iguanas have slightly different physical features. This is a trait called sexual dimorphism, and all it really means is that it's easy to tell the boys and the girls apart just by looking at them. Here you can see a male and a female green iguana. The male is not only bigger in size, he has a bigger dewlap, larger jowl muscles, and larger spines. Some species, like the marine iguana, show even more dramatic sexual dimorphism. Another common trait of iguanas is that they are primarily herbivorous, which means that they eat plant foods like greens, flowers, and fruits. However, there are some species like the rhinoceros iguana who are opportunistic carnivores. This means that though they are primarily herbivores, they will eat meat if a good opportunity arises. Basically, if a cheeseburger walks right up to their mouth, they won't pass it up. Oh, and did I mention, iguanas have a third eye. Like, not in a psychic way, they actually have a third eye on top of their head. This is called a parietal eye, and though it cannot see details, it can discern the movement of light and dark shapes, which is all an iguana needs to know if a hawk is about to swoop down and grab it with its talons. Iguanas are social animals who love nesting and foraging with other iguanas. They're long lived. Some species can live 60 years and they're excellent swimmers. What's your favorite fact about iguanas? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Defenders. You know our episode wouldn't be the same without this beautiful guy Artichoke and all those other iguanas. For you at home, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and head to our Kids Zone so you can learn some more awesome facts about animals. See you guys later Defenders.